Something that we always talk about because we feel it's extremely important when we are critiquing players, when we're judging players, when we're uh, criticizing players. I think it's important that we don't just look at numbers. We don't just look at statistics because statistics, they never tell the whole story. You can look at a stat sheet and, and look it up and down and they can read all sorts of numbers on there. But when you look at the actual game, when you look at the actual film, it can say something completely different from what the numbers do a lot of times. And that seems to be the case with Eric Mangini and Lamar Jackson. Eric Mangini, he talked about it today that he was starting to come around on the Baltimore Ravens, but not because of their offense, simply because of their defense. And we know their defense has been playing lights out. Their defense has been amazing. Their defense has just, they've been great. Uh, but the offense, they haven't been so great. And we've talked about that on here. I mean, we talked about it in the video uh, that we put out earlier today. But see, the, the thing about that is that while this offense hasn't been great, yeah, they've had some great moments, but they haven't been great. Um, while they haven't been there yet, they're still putting up points. You got to think about it. And, and Eric Mangini talked about with Lamar Jackson. He said, oh, his, he only threw nine touchdowns through nine games. Now, while, yeah, that, that is a bit underwhelming, especially how a lot of us envisioned this season to go for Lamar Jackson, especially with the, this new offense, all these new weapons and some returning weapons, too. We just really felt like, all right, oh, Lamar about to really go off like crazy in a passing game. And while he hasn't yet, we have seen the growth. That's why I, I really detest when people would say, oh, this is the same offense that Giro had. This is the same offense that the Ravens have been having over the past couple of years because it's not. It's really not. And if you watch the games, if you just sit down and watch the games, then you can clearly see that Lamar Jackson has taken another step forward. And, and a big step forward, in my opinion. Just the way that he controls the offense, the way that he controls the huddle, the way he's out there calling plays, changing plays, calling audibles and whatnot. He just really has control. And that's something that they talked about all throughout this offseason, that they really wanted Lamar Jackson to control this offense. They were going to give him the keys to the offense. And we see that the Ravens, they're really delivering on that. Todd Munkin and them, they are really following through with what they said this offseason. But Eric Mangini is still not a believer. And I mean, that that is cool. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Um, but with that, he, he also talked about how he feels like he said Lamar Jackson, he's taking the same number of sacks. I don't know how accurate that is, uh, but he also said that Lamar Jackson is running just as much as he's run before. Now, with that, I don't know what the numbers say on Lamar Jackson, if he's running as much as he normally has run in the past. But the eye test, when, when I watch the Baltimore Ravens play, um, it does not seem like Lamar Jackson is running nearly as much as he ran before. Uh, what we see from Lamar Jackson, and we've seen this over the years, really, but certainly this year, we see where Lamar Jackson on pass and play. Lamar Jackson drops back, looking, looking, waiting, scrambling around, still waiting, scrambling around, still waiting for somebody. Then he sees somebody, then he throws it. Uh, and a lot of times, we, we'll be screaming at the TV, Lamar, take off, go, take off, take off, but he won't. And that's been Lamar Jackson from, from jump. Lamar Jackson, this whole misconception that people still seem to have sometimes that Lamar Jackson is a run-first quarterback couldn't be further from the truth. But anyway, that's another conversation for another day. Um, with Lamar Jackson, I, I, just, I have not seen him run nearly as much as he ran in the past. And another thing that we've seen a lot less of, a whole lot less of, and let me know if you've seen it too. I really want to hear from you all on this. The design QB runs. It seems like the design QB runs have been cut way down, and I love that. Now, um, just to, to sum all of that up, with Eric Mangini and his thoughts on Lamar Jackson and whatnot, um, I think the, the best part about it, yeah, he only threw nine, nine touchdowns through nine games. He threw three interceptions, uh, and he got a good amount of rushing yards for a quarterback. But one thing we're seeing from Lamar Jackson this year which I love and I appreciate. Yeah, his his touchdown numbers are down from when they would where they would normally be at. His rushing numbers maybe even down from there where they may normally be at. But the reason that is is because it's not all on him. He does not have to always be Superman. The Baltimore Ravens with what they did this offseason, 
Added in Odell Beckham Jr. While he has been off to a slow start, he's starting to get a little better here and there. Rashad Bateman, they kept him. He's off to a slow start, but hopefully it continues to pick up. Zay Flowers, you know, he was, certainly wasn't off to no slow start. Uh, the last game was a little slow because he only had one catch, but he's been there. Mark Andrews, we know Mark Andrews. Gus Edwards was J.K. Dobbins, but unfortunately he got hurt. Justice Hill, Keaton Mitchell. You see, and there's more as well. Nelson Aguilar, can't forget about him Him too. But see, with the Baltimore Ravens, um, they when they added these weapons this offseason, when they brought in a new offensive coordinator this offseason, I think what Eric, Man Eric Mangini expressed and he didn't even realize is that the Baltimore Ravens are slowly starting to accomplish their goal and something that I think should have been their goal from a while back. And what I mean when I say that is that everything doesn't have to be on Lamar Jackson. And that's a great, beautiful thing. We highlighted in the video earlier today where we talked about the, the, against the Seahawks. Under Lamar Jackson, the Baltimore Ravens, while he was starting, the Baltimore Ravens scored 30 points. They scored 30 points against the Seahawks. Good team. Real good team. They scored 30 points. But... Lamar Jackson did not throw one single touchdown pass, and he did, he did not run, not for one single touchdown. Lamar Jackson did not score at all, but while Lamar Jackson was playing, the Baltimore Ravens scored 30 points. Think about that. That's crazy. That, 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 that is insane. But with Eric Mangini, I don't think he looks at it like that. That's why, again... With these, you, you got to try to give these commentators and these analysts and these experts and whatnot, these people, on you got you to try to give them a bit of a break because they're not going to sit there like us. Us, you know, we all, we focus on the Baltimore Ravens. We'll watch some other games now too. But for you, you know, for Ravens games, we'd be super locked in. We will watch every single one, every single play from every single Baltimore Ravens game. Well, except this past Sunday where they changed the station on me and a lot of us too. But anyway, we'll watch every single one. But that's us. Those guys out there on TV, they can't do that all the time. So the only thing that they can do, they can look at a stat sheet and be like, all right, you know what? Let me come up with something to talk about based on these numbers that I'm looking at. Not based on film, not based on watching the games, but based on these numbers that I'm looking at on this sheet of paper. Let me come up with how I feel about whatever team we're talking about, whatever quarterback, running back, whatever player we, it is that we're talking about. And then I'll let the world know. And I think that's a big issue uh, when it comes to the media nowadays. Because with the media, they want jack-of-all-trades people. And I get it. It's, it's entertainment and whatnot. And you want people that can speak on everything and everybody. But at the same time, while these people are speaking on everything and everybody, it, it, it takes away from individual teams. Baltimore Ravens are not the only team that's been taken away from it's been a every team it happens with every single team in the league and in and, and other leagues too in NBA and MLB all that stuff because these guys they they, they got to talk about so much stuff and on top of that they talk about so many sports too they don't just talk about it's not like they, they, they just strictly stick to football and that's it a lot of these guys out here in the media they talk about so many different things so that makes it that much more challenging to be an expert in, in one particular area. And when you're not an expert in one particular area, and, and you don't even have to be an expert, but if you're just looking at a sheet of paper and looking at the numbers and then just talking about it and that's it, that's all it's based on, then that's going to take away a lot of quality, in my opinion, uh, from the conversation. But, I mean, it is what it is. But I, I think that's exactly what uh, Eric Mangini, what he did today uh, when he discussed Lamar Jackson. Because clearly, and he, and he talked about it himself too when he spoke about the defense. He, he did the same thing with the defense because he said that with the defense, he said that they're, they're like number one in, in every statistical category. He said when you look at it, they're like number one in all these statistical categories. So again, he did it on both sides of the ball. So at, least, at least he was consistent with that. So I appreciated that, that he was consistent. But he's obviously not watching the games like that. So... Just something to think about. I know a lot of people were up in arms with what Eric Mangini was saying and whatnot, but I, I, just trying to look at it from a, a different point of view um, and just let you know, like, 
these guys have a, a tough, tough job to do. It's, it's very tough what they have to do. Even if they just cover the NFL, but they 32 teams, in league, that's a lot. That's a whole lot. And they don't have time to just sit there and watch every single play from every single game. Because they got to be on air Monday through Friday, sometimes Saturday, sometimes obviously on Sundays too. They got to be on air a lot, and they got a lot to talk about. But I think you probably should have stayed out of this Lamar Jackson conversation. But a conversation that you can hop in, if you like, uh, would be to check out these Varsity Jackets. Shout out to StandWithUsClothing.com. If you want your own Varsity Jackets, these or they got two other alternate Varsity Jackets, you go to StandWithUsClothing.com. The link is right down below in the description. You use code engraving to get 10% off of your order. I know y'all will love, y'all will not just like it, but love it. I, I guarantee you. I appreciate y'all team. Keep it clean. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. Eric Mangini, it's all right. We done seen this happen before. He won't be the first person to do this, and he certainly won't be uh, the last.